Welcome back to another segment of Live at Atarian on the Couch with Lawrence Meyer, our CEO and co-founder. And today we're gonna to be talking about Mavlink. What is Mavlink? Mavlink is a communication protocol. So inherently it's something really, really boring. It's about sending telemetry, so drone positions and other things from a drone to other drones or to the ground station. That's from a technology perspective what it is. The exciting part of it is that everybody is starting to use Mavlink or is already using Mavlink, even companies that are not using open source software. And so it's becoming very quickly the HTML of drones. That's probably the best way to describe it. And so what it brings to the whole drone industry is having one communication standard having different drones, different ground stations, different payloads, talking all one language. And that just brings choice to the whole industry and prevents vendor lock-in. And so generally everybody benefits, faster innovation. And yeah, that's what Mavlink is about. It's the same thing as HTML for the World Wide Web. It brings interoperability and with that growth of a whole industry. So that means we're not just bound to aerial vehicles. This can be integrated in all sorts of different types of autonomous systems. Yes, Mavlink has been shown already on rovers, boats, all sorts of vehicles, blimps. So it's really not limited to drones. And that makes sense because drones are moving in freely in 3D, which is the most generic case you have for any sort of communication about position or velocity or anything like that. So it makes total sense that you can use the same protocol, of course, for a rover that moves in 2D or even for a submarine, which is another 3D vehicle on the other side of uh, the ocean surface. So that also means, in essence, that if I'm an operator and I have multiple vehicles that operate on, a, on the Mavlink standard, I can also standardize my operation because I could potentially use one controller for various different products. Yes, if your vehicles are true to the Mavlink standard and there are test suites for that, then you can literally control all of your different assets, even from different vendors successfully. Somehow, all these different components we have talked about are starting to get connected. And that's not just by coincidence, this is by choice. This is what it means when you have open source, open standards, and then you put that around a PIX hawk and integrate it with software and have standards like Mavlinks, it's becoming a connected full picture. So we're going to explore some more in our next segment.